Athletes, welcome back to another great day of fitness. Now we are starting our progression on our way to our retest for our single leg Bulgarian split squat. We got Clara and we got Ethan back with us again. And we are gonna be getting into a time-based workout today that's gonna to help you start to build that volume that we need. Get ready, we got jumping air squats, single leg Bulgarian split squats with a one and a quarter going on, and we're gonna go every 2.30. So we got your warm up coming up next. Athletes, your warm-ups here. We are starting in 10 seconds. Now, this is gonna be a warm-up very similar to our test that we did, our test warm-up. Um, so you're gonna get used to this. We're going in three, two, one. We're going to our sealed down dog tro pose transition. And here, I'm not gonna have you guys hold the in positions very long. I just want you to transition up into a down dog and then back down to a seal pose transition. When we're doing anything that's gonna be that unilateral loading, I wanna make sure that we are getting our core nice and opened up and warmed up because we are gonna to have to stabilize in addition to that muscle group that we're working. So what we're gonna do next is, I'm gonna go ahead and have both athletes take one leg and put it forward for me. We're going into our world's greatest stretch. So the arm that's on the side of the forward leg is going to reach through our bracing arm and then up towards the ceiling. We're gonna go through this for a couple of rotations. And then what we're gonna do is, is that we are gonna switch in three, two, one, switch sides for me. Again, so the arm on the same side as that forward leg is going to pass through our bracing arm, and then up towards the ceiling, and then back through, and then back up to the ceiling. And then we're gonna go ahead and stand up, and we're gonna go into jumping air squats. Now to start out, let's just hit a couple regular air squats here. So I'm gonna give you three to four reps just to warm up. So let's go ahead through those regular squats here. After we get done through three to four, you can start to add a jump in at the top. Your jump, you do not have to come off the floor very high. You even think if I'm trying to slip a credit card underneath your feet, just make clearance with the ground and then that's it. Next thing that we're gonna have is we're gonna go into our split squat without an elevated foot. First, second round through, we're gonna elevate that foot. From here, we are doing the one and a quarter range of motion though. So what this looks like is both athletes will go down with their back knee, they'll come up halfway, back down, and then right back up. I want you to go ahead and give me two more reps on this side, and then we are gonna switch and do three reps on the other side. Now, if you've followed along with our weightlifting track, you've seen one and a quarter squats come up, and that's typically used to teach uh, learning how to use the bounce out of the hole to stand up with the weight. For today, we're gonna do more of a bodybuilding style. So we're keeping time under tension on that muscle group and we are controlling all the way through. So there's no bouncing out of the bottom with this movement. Next, we're gonna drop back down to our sealed down dog pose transition for a quick transition of three reps here. No holding the end range. As soon as you're down to the bottom, you're back up to the top. After we get three reps on this, we're gonna go ahead and go into our world's greatest stretch. We got three reps on each side here. Again, we have no hold at the end range on this second time through. I'm just getting you warmed up just a little bit more because those one and a quarter reps are no joke. And I want to make sure that full body is ready to get this workout in. After we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and stand up and we're going straight into our tempo jumping squats, or sorry, our jumping air squats. We're going to go ahead and down to the bottom and then right back up. We're going to make sure we're keeping that chest up and keeping good positioning through these reps. And then finally, let's make our way to our implement that we're putting our rear foot on. And with this, we're gonna elevate that back foot, find the correct positioning for your front foot, and then we're gonna go down to the floor, up halfway, down, and back up. Now with this elevated position, we do not have to touch the back knee to the floor. We are going down to where we feel is an adequate range of motion, or we're getting that hip crease at or below parallel. Switch, hit the other side for me. And then we're gonna go through three reps here as well. During the workout, Ethan is gonna be using a dumbbell. He's gonna hold it in the goblet squat position. But like we talked about in our first test, if you can't hold it in the goblet position, you can go opposite hand of that working leg or you can bring it up to the opposite shoulder of the working leg. When we go through, you should be using the same weight that you used in the test portion. So if you went with a 50 on that first test, we're gonna go 50 through these working periods throughout the next couple weeks. That is it. The warm up is over. Get yourself ready because we have your workout coming up next. Athletes, your workout is here. We've got 10 seconds on the clock. So go ahead and make your way to where you're doing your Bulgarian split squats. If you're using a weight, go ahead and pick that up. Get in the goblet position. We're starting in three, two, one, and go. 
Now we've got six one and a quarter reps on each side. If you notice for Clara, what we've done is, is that we've put a line down on the floor so she knows where to put her foot each time. This movement can be difficult to find that consistent positioning every time that you do this. So if you have a place in your gym or your garage that you can mark a line and you're using an implement that always stays in the same place, this is what you want to do because this is going to give you a true test retest as we go through the weeks and when we get that comparison score at the end of this. Ethan does this movement pretty often so he's got a feel for where his foot should be. But we are going through our six on each side and after we get done with our six on each side you are going to be going into 12 jumping air squats. Make sure when we do one and a quarter, we're not standing all the way up. We're only going up halfway, Claire, I'm talking to you. And then we're going back into, back into that bottom range of motion. As athletes finish the six on each side, we have 12 jumping air squats. Now you're gonna get quite the leg pump off of this. So during your rest time, I need you to move your legs around. We are working, we got two and a half minutes per round. So this is one of those workouts where you're earning your rest time. Now, as opposed to when we would do a true CrossFit or functional fitness workout, where we're trying to earn a lot of time and you gotta find the balance between going too fast or going too slow and earning too much, or sorry, not earning enough rest time or going so hard you can't recover in the time that you earned. We're doing this for quality right now. So if you feel pressured or you feel like you don't have enough time to complete the required number of reps, I want you keeping your six split squat reps on each leg. We can decrease the jumping squats we want, or you can even customize your time and give yourself three minutes to complete this. But I want quality reps. I don't want you rushed and having to sacrifice quality because you feel like you don't have enough time here. We're just keeping you moving and we're giving you a, the same amount of rest each of these sets that we do. We're done with our first set. We're gonna go into set number two in about 25 seconds. Now, with Clara, you heard me get onto her a little bit with making sure that on our one and a quarter squats, we are only coming halfway out of that squat and then back down. Again, as a reminder, we don't have to force our back knee to the ground. So make sure you're keeping yourself in a position that you feel confident and you feel strong with. We're starting in five seconds. So pick those weights up if you're using them. We're going in, two, one, and go. Now again on this, I always talk about how important your breathing is. So when we're at the top, we're thinking about taking a nice deep breath into our core, and then we are going to breathe out as we come out of that split squat position. We've got six on one side, and then we're gonna go onto the other leg and go six on the other. These split squats are no joke. You look at this and you're like, this isn't a big deal. I can work my way through these. But these paired with the jumping squats are definitely giving you some good isolation on your quads, on your glutes, and even on your hamstrings because those are having to stabilize us during this. As athletes finish up and they get done with their six and six, we're going back into our 12 jumping air squats. The jumping air squats are helping a little bit with some fatigue clearance. So if you follow along with the aerobic capacity track that we've got, we're making sure that when we get done with this, we're going through at a pace that's gonna be measured and consistent. I'm not looking for you to try to get done with these jumping air squats as quickly as possible. We just wanna to try to get about a minute to 45 seconds of rest each round. And both of our athletes are hitting right within that range. And we are done with those jumping air squats. You've got about 45 seconds and then, or sorry, we've got a minute 15, and then we are going into our next set. So as, again, as we go through this test retest period over the next couple weeks, quality is the name of the game in terms of our exercise. And you ask, well, are we always looking for quality? Yes, we are always looking for quality on our movements, but when we get into more of a CrossFit style workout, then you're looking at finding a good balance between your technique and your intensity. So what that means is, is I could do a split squat or let me use a different movement. I could do a dumbbell clean really slow and controlled and know that I'm gonna be fine with that movement, but without the intensity, I'm not gonna encourage adaptation. When we're going through these movements, we're building volume here, which is going to encourage adaptation. When we're doing a workout, when we're going for time, we're trying to get that intensity up, but also maintain a good level of technique to keep ourselves safe. So we got some different goals here and we got some different focuses with today, we're looking all about quality. So make sure you're making every single rep look exactly the same or as close to as possible. We're going in three, two, one, and go. 
You've got six reps on one side and six on the other. We've got that one and a quarter, making sure we're only coming up halfway out of the range of motion and then right back down and we are controlling all the way through. It's not like our weightlifting, our Olympic weightlifting one and a quarter squats where we utilize the bounce to come out of the bottom. We're looking at getting an increased time under tension on that working leg and what better way to do that by prolonging that range of motion that we have by returning back to our end range before we stand up. We've got both athletes working on their second leg right now. Claire's gonna keep her eyes up on the horizon for me, keeping herself balanced and breathing out as she stands. And then as they get done with their second leg, we go into those 12 jumping squats. With these, there's no contest, there's no rush. You go at your own pace here. We're just working on getting those legs opened up. We're getting that blood flow through. We're clearing out that lactate. We're making sure that you guys are staying in peak condition so that we can go into our last set on this workout. Looking just the same, calm, cool, and collected, albeit with a little bit of a leg bump, more so than what we had in that first set. Both of our athletes are done. And again, they're consistently hitting the same amount of rest time, which I absolutely love. We got about a minute 15 of rest for athletes here. If you guys are getting below 45 seconds of rest on your sets, then I would like you to make some adjustments. Either customize the round time for yourself, so instead of two and a half minutes, go every three minutes, or I do give you permission to lower the number of jumping air squats that you do. We've got our final set coming up. We got about 45 seconds on the clock. So during this time, move those legs around. Make sure that you're gonna pump those quads, get that blood flowing through, because these are gonna be very, very sneaky. Right now, you may be, man, I'm fine. I could go for 10 more sets on this, but tomorrow you're gonna wake up and you're gonna be like, oh, my glutes are sore. Ah, my quads are singing to me. And that's all because of what we're doing right now. This isolateral work that we do where we're working on one leg at a time is fantastic because life is not balanced when it comes at you. It's always from one direction or another. So when we make sure that we got equal strength on each side, then we are gonna be fully prepared for whatever comes our way. We're going in five seconds for our last set. You got three, two, one, and go for it. Again, this is our last set. It doesn't mean you go faster. I need you to keep that same tempo. I know you wanna go faster because you're trying to get done with this. Larry, give me that one and a quarter. Well, I just got two reps out of clear that was no one and a quarter, so keep going for me. I'll tell you what, you give me one makeup rep and I'll count for the two that we stood straight up on. But with this, this is tough. And I know that all you wanna do is speed through this, but I'm forcing you to go at the same pace that we established in our first set. I need you guys to maintain that because if we start rushing through these reps, we're starting to lose some of the benefit, not all of it. So I'd tell you that doing faster reps is better than doing the same rep at the same pace that we had. Or sorry, doing faster reps is better than not doing the reps at all. But I do wanna see the best version of that is maintaining the same pace throughout. Keep yourself accountable here. I wanna make sure that we are hitting those six reps on each side. And then we get into our final set of 12 jumping air squats. Making sure we're getting below parallel. We're maintaining tension throughout. We're keeping that chest up. We're keeping a shine in our eyes and a smile on our face. Smile, I said smile. Uh, I'm not getting out of Claire. Claire's done for the day. So she got those, those one and a quarters in and that is it. But hey, we got better today. So finish up these jumping air squats for me. You guys are almost there. And again, who thought such a simple workout could be this tough? This is one of those you could definitely do if you're at a hotel or a place where you don't have a lot of workout equipment. But thank you so much, athletes. You did fantastic on this progression, on our way to being the best Bulgarian split squatters we possibly can. Make sure that you stick around. You got your cool down coming up next. Athletes, great, great job today. I know that those quads, those glutes, even those hamstrings are blown up right now. So applaud yourselves because this kind of work is the stuff that a lot of times people will skip. This is the stuff that maybe isn't the most interesting. It's not as exciting as our workouts are that we do, but this is where you're gonna get better. Because just like I talk about the cool down in a couple minutes or a couple seconds, this is like your vegetables. You may not want them, but I'm telling you, it's gonna make you a better athlete. Now, 
We loved having you join us today. And if you had a great time, I certainly hope you had a great time, then we want you to continue joining us. If this is your first time, I got a special offer for you. You can use the code at home at mayhemathletes.com to start your fitness journey right now and get a free month of programming so that you can become a better, fitter version of yourself and whatever life has to throw your way, you're gonna tackle it with a smile, just like Clara, right? Yeah, that's it. Now, if your goals are just being a little bit stronger, a little bit tougher each day, or making it all the way to the competition floor, Mayhem Athletes got the programming and the community that's gonna get you to your goals. Whether you're looking at just being able to move around the house and maintain your independence, or make it all the way to the CrossFit Games, the Mayhem Athlete community is a group of like-minded athletes that will make you have a good time on the way to whatever your goals may be. So join us today, we love having you. Now you got your cool down listed here, so I always say you gotta take care of your body because it certainly just took care of you during this workout. And as always, be good, be kind, and join us again for another great day of fitness.